Okay. Yeah, okay. Sorry. Hi, so I'm Istvan, I work at Telenav, and I want to show you a couple of things uh, to modify in JOSM so we can make editing a little simpler and easier. Uh, at first glance, JOSM might seem a little complicated, but there are certain things we can modify, and in order to make things easier, um, we are going to take a look at filters, map CSS, presets and shortcuts, and plugins. So this is the center of Milan, right? The main thing to start out with is start filtering data. For a specific mapping project, we can hide, uh, for example, buildings or parks. So th after that, we can instantly see uh, that there's residential roads left, a few footways, maybe a tertiary up north. After filtering out the data, we can start customizing them. The default JOSM style is quite good, and once you understand what the tags and the colors represent, you can start adding to this and start building up on this. So on the left side, I have a map CSS that uh, watches for modified layers. This uh, helps you see things that you've modified in your currently downloaded area. And on the left side, on the right side, we have a CSS with a blue casing, blue transparent casing, which uh, watches for recently modified objects. This helps to see how old or fresh the data is, and also to know directly that a way has been recently modified without having to check its history. For the US, for example, we can highlight a uh, tiger reviewed no tag. Uh, this also helps identify places where the tiger imports could be corrected or modified or even deleted. In this example, I have the, three com the combination of these three styles all together, so we can identify that the those alleys were recently added because it has a light blue casing. Uh, with the purplish color, we have the tiger reviewed no. And there's this, the other uh, color, orangey, combined with purple. Uh, those are the ones that still have tiger no, but I've modified them, and that's why. Uh, there's also QA scoped map styles. Uh, for this example, uh, here we have with red casing highlighted the streets that have no names. This helps identify ways that are not tagged correctly. And with pink, I have uh, the link roads uh, symbolized, so we can instantly see that in the southern part that uh, link is not tagged properly because it should be pink because it's a secondary link. For roundabouts, for example, if we uh, set uh, cyan blue for the roundabout, and you get used to the fact that this is how roundabouts should look like, uh, then whenever you see a circular geometry, you're going to realize that the junction roundabout tag is missing. Using styles for turn restrictions draws attention upon the membership on how long the ways are, and whether they should be clipped at intersections or not. And, and you can also make the icon size uh, larger. In this case, the front ways are highlighted with blue, and the two ways are highlighted with purple. You can also bring out places where people added hundreds of no U-turns in parking lots and parking aisles. Uh, after styling is done, we want to create custom presets and shortcuts. So there's two ways of creating the presets, either by writing the XML code yourself or by using a plugin called Easy Presets Creator, which is a pretty straightforward and easy to use plugin. And once you've created the custom preset you wanted, you can just simply add them to your toolbar, have a shortcut there, and then you can assign any keyboard shortcut combination and this really improves the speed and of the editing. And this is how my view generally looks like when I work. I, if we, you work on two monitors, I recommend moving all the windows on another monitor because we all know the struggle of how crowded it can get. And 
uh, a couple of, of plugins to mentions or the OSM object info, which I find really helpful because it provides quick links to uh, immediately see a person's profile or a ways history or directly to OSM cha. Uh, another plugin would be the chain sets plugin, which helps for peer review purposes. I think that's it. Thank you. So do we have any questions for this first lighting talk? If you have any questions later, you can find me at the Telenav booth, and I'll show you more examples and use cases. Thanks. OK. Thank you.